We're going to continue to do what we need to do to prepare and respond to what may be one of the most damaging storms in the history of the United States. So she says focusing on protecting your people is selfish. I think she ought to look in the mirror. So as it pertains to the incoming Hurricane Milton here in Florida, Ron DeSantis and Kamala Harris have gotten into a pretty heated war of words in the past 24 hours. And Ron just shut down the conversation with the ultimate exclamation mark that Kamala Harris will not be coming back from. And I highly doubt she's going to be responding to this Folks, we'll give you that full story here today. But first, I'm Vince with RTM News. Do us a big favor. If you enjoy our content, help support by hitting that subscribe button down below. Why should you subscribe? Because it helps ensure that we can keep bringing you videos like this. It's also free and helps you stay on top of all of the news as we are just less than 30 days now away from the election. But let's get into this. So the whole story here begins with obviously the hurricane that is currently based barreling toward the Tampa Bay area and our prayers are with all the people who are going to be impacted by this storm but Ron DeSantis has analyzed the situation and reading into this it seems like he is thinking well I just saw how the federal government handled the Hurricane Helene situation and is still dropping the ball we saw the complete disaster with FEMA and what he is doing is not refusing to cooperate with the feds which is the way Kamala Harris is trying to put it we'll debunk that later in this video but he is rather saying we are also going to make sure that the state government of Florida has its own response so that way if the feds completely drop the ball as they literally just did like I don't know last week with a different hurricane that hit uh, the states to the north much worse than it did Florida then we're going to be prepared and we're not going to leave our people hanging out to dry and this is what Ron has been working around the clock to do he is deploying the Florida National Guard State Guard Department of Transportation and Highway Patrol all to help remove the debris right now as well as respond to the current storm and he also put out this statement saying that debris removal must be done 24 7 around the clock this process cannot be a nine to five job and we expect local governments and their contractors to show up so he's basically saying here to all the public and civil servant employees that you work for the taxpayer the taxpayer needs you right now you're not going to be lazy about this you're not going to drop the ball like the feds he's making them go to work around the clock as they should be because again they work for the florida taxpayer because because obviously under this administration you cannot rely on the federal government now in the midst of all of this while Ron DeSantis is obviously busy around the clock trying to prepare the state of Florida Kamala Harris tried to give Ron DeSantis a phone call and allegedly the story here goes that Ron did not pick up the call now when I initially saw that and considering what happened last week in North Carolina I said well I can't exactly blame him, right? Because this entire thing is probably a political stunt. Kamala Harris does not care about this hurricane. She's doing nothing, and we saw last week, so why should Ron waste time right now talking to her? But that was just my personal instinct. We'll give you the full rundown on this story here in a second, but first, take a listen to what Kamala Harris had to say about Ron uh, refusing her phone call. Governor DeSantis, NBC is reporting Governor DeSantis ignoring your calls on hurricanes, resources, and, and help. How does that hurt the situation here? You know, moments of crisis, if, if nothing else, should really be the moment that anyone who calls themselves a leader says they're going to put politics aside and put the people first. People are in desperate need of support right now. And playing political games at this moment in these crisis situations, these are the height of emergency situations. It's just utterly irresponsible and it is selfish and it is about political gamesmanship instead of doing the job that you took an oath to do, which is to put the people first. So Kamala Harris accusing anyone else of trying to play political games in a disaster scenario is obviously very rich. She clearly demonstrated that she had nothing to do. She did not care at all whatsoever about the last hurricane or any hurricane before that. But suddenly now, because Ron won't take her phone calls allegedly, and we'll give you his side of the story here in a second, that's political gamesmanship. 
Yeah, it's certainly not that you are suddenly caring about a hurricane because it is election year and you got destroyed and criticized pretty badly for doing nothing about the last one. But that said, Ron DeSantis yesterday went on Fox News to respond to Kamala Harris. And this is completely and absolutely brutal. You have to hear what Ron DeSantis had to say. Take a listen. We don't have the sound, but she said, you know, moment of crisis, if nothing else, should really be the moment that anyone calls himself a leader, says they're going to put politics aside and put the people first. People are in desperate need of support right now and playing political games at this moment in these crisis situations. There, These are the height of emergency situations. It's just utterly irresponsible and it's selfish and it's about political gamemanship. What's your response? Well, I think she should look in the mirror. We've been on an emergency footing uh, for two weeks straight, round the clock, 24-7. Uh, we've been working, my office, our Division of Emergency Management, helping people prepare for Hurricane Helene, helping effectuate rescues of people after Hurricane Helene, helping people pick up the pieces of their lives after Helene, and then have to also turn around and prepare for major impacts and maybe even more impacts uh, from Hurricane Milton, be able to have rescue personnel ready to help people, and then, of course, help with the power restoration, all these things to do. So that's been my sole focus. Uh, my focus has not been on dealing with, with Kamala Harris. Um, I, did, I saw the news report. I didn't know she tried to contact me. But I'd also say it's not about you, Kamala. Right. It's about the people of Florida. My focus is exactly where it should be. And I can tell you this. I've worked with, on these hurricanes under both President Trump and President Biden. Neither of them ever tried to politicize it. She has never called on any of the storms we've had since she's been vice president until apparently now. Why all of a sudden is she trying to parachute in and inject herself when she's never shown any interest in the past? We know it's because of politics. We know it's because of her campaign. I have zero time. Uh, to entertain these political games. We're going to continue to do what we need to do to prepare and respond to what may be one of the most damaging storms in the history of the United States. So she says focusing on protecting your people is selfish. I think she ought to look in the mirror. Mm. Mic drop. There it is. And we have more to react to here. Okay, there are still two more minutes to this. But first of all, Ron addresses the claim he says he wasn't even aware that Kamala tried to call. Who knows the truth there? Ultimately, it doesn't matter. I think the really damning part is Kamala is claiming, oh, this is about political gamesmanship. And Ron points out she has been VP for how many years now? And Ron says, according to him, that not once for any of the past hurricanes, including Ian, which was pretty bad, as you may know, has Kamala Harris ever called Ron about a hurricane until this one right before the election and then he goes on to say yeah kamala it's not about you <laughs> brutal absolutely brutal but ladies and gentlemen i regret to inform you or i'm really not i mean he's just telling the truth here there's a lot more to this so keep listening and right now governor just to conclude you have what you need from the federal government, as well as you feel like you have the resources in place. Is that correct? We every request we've made and I've been in okay. contact with the president. I've been in contact with the FEMA director. You know, it's interesting. Harris is not even in the chain of command. Yeah, what she is she has even no doing? role in this. I mean, the idea that I should be like worrying about her when I'm focused on the task at hand is just quite frankly uh, absurd. So, yes, all of our requests have been answered. Um, we have marshaled all state resources uh, that are available to us. It's going to be a very robust response, but it's going to be a lot of damage. And we're right. bracing for that. I'd ask everyone to keep us in your prayers. Uh, we know we're going to get hit, but hopefully we can pray that this storm will weaken right. and do the least amount of damage possible. All right. So did you hear what he said there? Kamala Harris is not in the chain of command when it comes to this stuff in the Biden administration. Which is, of course, hilarious because Biden now tries to go out and claim, oh, she was doing everything for me. As if that's not meant to be an underhanded comment to take shots at Kamala because <laughs> Biden knows that type of rhetoric actually hurts her politically. But so because I know people might say, 
Oh, but Ron DeSantis should answer Kamala. She's currently the vice president. And hey, like the federal government's trying to help. But Ron also sets that record straight, which is he's in constant communication with President Biden and all of the relevant officials that are actually dealing with FEMA and the real disaster response. But when it comes to Kamala Harris, it is an entirely political stunt because she has nothing to do with the hurricane response, at least as it pertains to Florida. That is pretty funny, actually, to listen to there, because again, according to Biden, she does everything. But according to Ron DeSantis, who's trying to get uh, federal help right now, although it doesn't sound like he is necessarily counting on it, she is nowhere to be found. But hey, let me take this political phone call and then accuse the other side of playing political gamesmanship when, yeah, you just got exposed. Okay. So it's just absolutely brutal, but okay, there you have it, folks. I, I, you know, I'm going to venture to guess, by the way, and nothing so far. Kamala Harris is not going to respond to this, okay? She's not going to respond to this interview. She's not going to address what Ron DeSantis said to set the record straight, correct her lies, because there's nothing you can say. You know, she's just going to walk off hoping people only heard her say, oh, it's political, not listening to Ron, lay out all of the facts here. You never called me for the past several hurricanes when you were vice president. So inherently, this is obviously political on your part. You're not even in the chain of command when it comes to the Biden administration. So you have no authority. And uh, now you're trying to make it about yourself when the people of Tampa Bay and across the state are needing some prayers right now but again it is all about kamala harris apparently you make the decision as the american voter whether or not you think that type of person should be in charge of our country but with that said let me know your thoughts on all of this in the comment section down below our prayers are with the people of florida and i am actually one of them so i don't know keep me in your prayers as well i suppose but uh appreciate it and until next time i've been vince with rtm news peace